Hi everybody, it's Franny. We're back with the Beck Spider. It's just about ready to leave the garage, but I couldn't let it go looking the way it does. It's awfully dull. It needs a good wash and a wax and maybe a little bit of buffing, all sorts of stuff. So that's what's up for tonight. The car isn't all that dirty, it's just sort of kind of more dusty than anything else, but I can't really wash it because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a top, so I'll just get it soaked. So I've got some waterless car wash here that I'm going to use, which is kind of liquidy, watery, but okay. I'm not really too super worried about putting fine scratches on it. This thing's filled full of scratches everywhere. So we just want to get it clean first, then I'll clay bar it. I've got a buffer I want to go over it with, and then we'll wax it. We'll hit the bright work. I think it's going to look pretty sweet when we get done. With the car completely clean, our next step was to clay bar it. I could feel there were a lot of rough spots in the paint and a lot of embedded contaminants, and the clay works so well to pull all that stuff out. It's a great prepping step right before you do all your polishing work. With the car completely squeaky clean, next step is to go around and look at all the imperfections in the paint. And this car kind of has a lot of them. There's little nicks and scratches and staining all over the car. We just need to be aware of this when we start buffing. Some of this we'll be able to get out and some of it we won't. Some of the paint is a little weird on this car too. Now it has been repainted not too long ago and it does have a clear coat on it so that helps but there's all sorts of cracks and things everywhere so we just need to be careful right before we start buffing. I'm using my Flex 5.5 inch orbital buffer with an Adams Polishes orange foam pad. I'm also using his orange correcting polish. This works as a really good first cutting pass across the car. Now for those tighter areas, I'm using Adam's Swirl Killer 4 inch buffer. It works really well with his orange pad there and same fluid. And it, it just works to get in a smaller area if you really need to get into a tight spot or you've got some specific area you really need to work on. It works great for that. And this car had a ton of that. So we've got all these scratches and all these marrings all over the place that we had to fix. For the final pass, I went over the entire car with Adam's Polish's finishing polish and his white pad. And that's what brings out that brilliant shine in the end. <sighs> Holy cow, that takes a lot of time. I think it put four hours into buffing the car. So I went through and did a first pass, sort of a, it's kind of a medium cut really and just went through the whole thing and then after that went through a final polish i'm oh, pretty tuckered out it's actually kind of late it's after 10 and i started at what five or something like that so anyway finally got that done i think it looks pretty good looks quite a bit shinier we got a lot of the um abrasions out all over the car there was some kind of weird things going on all over the place there's some weird paint all over this car but that's okay we just, it wasn't to be perfect, it was just to make it look a little bit shinier, a little bit nicer. So now that I have all that done, my next step is going to be to go through and use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and wipe it down just to get rid of any of the haze and any of the buffing compound and all that. And then after that, we'll just go ahead and wax it. I need to do, of course, the bright work on the car and a few other things. I wanna do the rubber work as well, there's not much, plastic or rubber on this car at all, which is kind of nice. So, all right, let me go ahead and wipe it down and then we'll get to waxing it and doing other stuff.
Before I put the wax on the car, I like to go around and hit the rubber trim a little bit. The reason is that if you go ahead and wax over totally dry rubber, it's really, really hard if you get any wax on that rubber. But if you throw something, I like to use uh, Prima's Infinity, um, Adam's Polishes has a really good uh, rubber treatment. Any rubber treatment that you really, really like, I like to throw that on first. That way if I get any wax on the plastic of the rubber, it won't stick to it. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll go and wax. Have you ever tried P21S? It's a 100% Carnuba wax. I really like this stuff. It seems to hold on to the car pretty well because that's the thing about Carnubas, right? You put them on and two weeks later it's kind of gone. But this stuff is really neat. Uh, it stays on for quite a while and really gives the car a heck of a shine. I use it, usually use it uh, before a car show or something like that. Ava has P21S on her as well. So that's what I'm going to use on the spider. I really like this stuff. Stuff's great. So um, just kind of pretty much just coat the whole car, wait for it to set up, and then you just wipe it off. It's pretty simple wax. If you have a clear bra on your car like this one does, you want to make sure you don't wax into the clear bra. Wax from the clear bra back onto the paint, so in this direction. And that'll help keep, you'll still get a little bit of buildup, but it won't be nearly as bad as if you went the other direction. Those are coyotes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Is there five or six or seven of them? The whole den. They're not very far away. I think it's starting to look pretty sweet here. We've got a nice shine on everything. Next, I'm going to hit the bright work, so all the metal work. We've got chrome here on the wheels and the hubcaps and such. And then there's aluminum around the windshield and around a couple of other things here. And I've just got a little bit of metal polish. I'm just going to go over it pretty quickly. After that, we'll do the rubber and um, vacuum out the inside a bit and we should pre pretty much be done. The wheels aren't super duper bad but they're pretty stained, I guess. The chrome needs to be dealt with and the rubber looks pretty dirty. I don't think they've really ever been dealt with. So we're gonna start by cleaning the rubber, then we're gonna clean the chrome, then we're gonna polish the chrome, and then we'll treat everything afterwards. So to start with, I have, and this works really, really well, it's uh, Adam's tire and rubber cleaner stuff. Works really, really well in getting kind of the grime and stuff off of this. You, Probably use it when you're actually washing your car, but you can use it like this as well. So I'm going to just spray it onto microfiber towel here and then just rub down the wheel tire. And it does get up quite a bit of dirt. Okay, let me just dry it off. And that's already looking pretty sweet, I think. It does a really good job on the rubber, leaves sort of a matte finish. Super good. Next, I'm just gonna use my usual waterless car wash 
and clean off the chrome here just to get the bits off because I don't want to polish in any of this grime. So for metal polish, I really like this Wizards. I think it's like the best stuff out there. Adams is pretty good. He has a two-step uh, process that works pretty well. But I really, I think my favorite has to go to Wizards. Uh, it works great on all types of metals as well. So if you've got aluminums or chromes or anything like that, it just, it just somehow it brings out a beautiful shine. Works really good on tailpipes as well. It'll bring the chrome back on your tailpipe, even if it's like really schmutzy. So here, check this out. There is a little rust spot right there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it with our wizards. And you can kind of hear it. So it's definitely crunchy, 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 right? But even with just that little bit of work, look at that. It really took the rust right out of it. I can't do anything about this scratch. But we had another rust spots over here as well. And there's some schmutz under here we can get with this and all the way around. So I'll just continue. It just does a great job. So what do you think of that? Looks pretty good all polished up, huh? It's getting better and better. These are just little small incremental steps. All right, so to protect the wheel afterwards, I've got something called wheel wax, which is a high temperature wax sealanty kind of thing with a little bit of carnauba. It had a little bit of pop and it looks great on it. Um, I've used this stuff quite a bit. In fact, it's almost all gone. It doesn't really last all that super long. If you really want a protectant that's going to last forever on your wheels, best thing would be like a ceramic coating or something. It's probably the best. Some type of nano coating would be the best, but it takes a lot of prep and you got to take the wheels off and clean them and meh, meh, meh. And I'm not into that right now. So just a little bit of wheel wax and I think this thing's going to look awesome. You don't want to let this sit too awfully long. Look at that, pretty sweet, huh? Our last step is just to dress the tire itself. I like to use uh, Prima's Infinity. Uh, everybody's pretty much got a pretty good tire dressing that you can use. It really depends more on whether you want something shiny or flat. This is sort of a more towards the flat, more of a satin, but it also has a UV protectant in it and it seems to hold up pretty well in the rain. I use it on all the plastic and rubber around the car just because it holds up so well. Really kind of neat stuff. So a uh, foam applicator is the best way to put it on tires. Pretty simple, just wipe it on. So you just let it sort of set up for a little bit. It'll kind of dry and then go back with the microfiber and buff it off and that's all you have to do. So looking at the tire, let me know if you see anything you think this is out of sorts. So this is the right rear wheel, right? I noticed this before, I'm going to have to deal with this at some point, but so that's kind of a thing, huh? <laughs> this tire should be on the other side of the car. It's really not a super huge deal, I think. It's going to make the tire wear weird and all that, but it's mainly for the way it displaces water kind of a thing. So these tires, just this one, the other one looks interestingly enough, is, is also rotating the wrong direction. So we'll just swap them out. It's not a big deal. But I noticed that a few days ago and I was like, wait a minute. So there's just a million little things on these cars in order to get them sorted. Not the end of the world. I'll take care of it later. What do you think? Looks pretty fancy, huh?
for the exterior, I think. It looks pretty sweet, I think. It really pops. We've got our wheels done, we've got our whole thing, our whole car buffed, and we've got all of our protection on it. I think it's pretty sweet. Next step is going to be to get to the interior because it's kind of a mess as well. Vacuum it, deal with the leather seats and that sort of stuff. Hopefully it shouldn't take too much time. We do have a painted dash, so we'll go ahead and um, work on that as well and put a little bit of love on that. And the last thing I'll probably do will be actually the glass for the windshield. It's usually the last thing I do is glass. So pretty sweet though, huh? Didn't that turn out pretty well? So I have some, uh, not a lot left actually, but all-purpose cleaner from Adams Polishes. It's a nice, light, uh, easy cleaner that I can use to clean the dash and the gauges and pretty much everything else. Then finally, I think what I'm gonna do is then I'll vacuum and then the very last thing I usually do is treat the seats because I just don't want to be sitting on them after I've treated them. Seems like with everything else, there's a special type of cloth to use for glass. It's a microfiber, but it doesn't have any real nap to it at all. This one is by Norwix, and a lot of different manufacturers make these glass towels, but they actually are really good for grinding away on glass. You'd never use them on your paint because they won't soak anything up into the fibers and you end up scratching your paint, but they work great on glass. Another kind of cool little trick is when you're done, so there still can still be some haze on the glass. It seems like it's so hard to get off. Just take a very dry, completely clean microfiber towel and just go over and buff the glass and that'll take off any of that haze that you saw in there. Well, that's it for detailing the spider. Probably wondering why I went through all this fuss. We've got a couple of cool episodes coming up. I'm gonna do a review on this car and I'm, then I'm gonna do a compare against the 356. I think those will be super duper fun, so stay tuned for those. And if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider sharing it with a friend or something. That would be super awesome. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it to get notified. We put out tons of videos. So thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.